landing had to be pretty exciting for one substitute teacher in Colorado. You see, while some subs teach from a book or a lesson plan, Tom Graves uses his experience. Mark Salinger and photojournalist Dan Herbst introduce us to a man who went from a NASA control room to the classroom. Okay, good afternoon, class. Where there is excitement. Does anyone need that stamp? Tom Graves always shows up. Let me quickly do attendance. Wow, Thank you. you guys are busier than I thought. At 82, okay. Mr. Graves doesn't need to still be teaching about valence electrons. You've already studied this. He's here because high school chemistry is still exhilarating. It's a highlight of the day for me, it truly is. Whatever the qualifications are to be a substitute teacher at Legend High School. Listen carefully. Everyone knows he's far surpassed them. Mr. Graves is a rock star. We all love to hear him tell stories and he's got some great stories to tell. He carries an index card in his pocket that he has his schedule on and he'll pencil you in if you need him. Who cheated and told on that? Well, it's uh, just a calendar with uh, every sub day written on here and who I was subbing for. Sure. I'm proud of He's it. He's a bit traditional. It still works. But Mr. Graves is different. We gave him a mailbox. There are only a couple of sub mailboxes here. So he has his own mailbox with his own name on it. And I've already collected today's. The mailbox is cool. Oh, well, that's pretty special. But there are other things about him that actually keep high schoolers' attention. I tell the kids all the time, it's not just a substitute. You have a rocket scientist in class, and how cool is that? This is the early part of my life, the kid in the candy shop part. Before he was Mr. Graves, Tom. This is back when I had dark hair. Started as a 20-something-year-old engineer, working on nearly every NASA mission for more than two decades. A flag that flew on Columbia. This was the uh, approach and landing test. Uh, for Apollo, we flew a series of experiments. It was a wild ride, really was. A ride that put him in mission control when Apollo 11 landed on the moon. You know, it was uh, truly a high point. He was there for the Challenger tragedy, too. He's seen it all. And the life was frequently seven days a week, as my wife can attest to. None of this in my life would have been possible without her. His wife, Johnny. It's true. But you started at NASA before I came along. Knows he helped write the history that his students now read about in textbooks. Some of them are so far removed from that sort of doing anymore. If it's not on a phone, is it real? And so I think he makes it real. Actually, if you put that in water, it'll solidify and then get a paper towel and just kind of crunch it under your finger and it'll come right off. Mr. Graves found the same purpose in a high school classroom wow. as he did in a NASA control room. I actually learn a lot here, things that I had never encountered before in, in my lifetime. In a previous life, Mr. Graves' adrenaline didn't kick in when a freshman left a Bunsen burner on. Put the rod back in the flame and see if it's orange still. Now he's inspiring future rocket scientists and that is just as exciting. Leave all the rest of the equipment where it is. I'll clean it up. 